the appropriate response of the governor in such cases is to ensure that security that they were lawfully entitled to continues to be provided to them if it has been removed. This was an extraneous reason that was considered by the governor. The third communication that the governor relied on is the letter dated 21 June 2022 addressed by Mr. Ekna Chinde to the deputy speaker stating that the appointment of Mr. Ajay Chaudhary was illegal. The governor may not inquire into or express an opinion on the validity of proceedings of the legislature that is exclusively within the domain of the legislature itself or in certain circumstances discussed in the previous segment of this judgment within the domain of courts. The discretionary power of the governor under Article 163 of the Constitution is limited to situations where a constitutional provision expressly provides it or where the Constitution cannot be construed otherwise than to grant such discretion. Hence the, hence, the governor ought not to have relied on the letter dated 21 June 2022. In any event, the contents of the letter did not indicate anything to suggest that the then Chief Minister, Mr. Thakre, had lost the confidence of the House. Finally, the governor relied on the letters written by Mr. Fadnavis and seven independent MLAs, calling upon him to direct Mr. Thakre to prove his majority on the floor of the House. First, both Mr. Fadnavis as well as the seven MLAs could have well moved a motion of no confidence. Nothing prevented them from doing so. Second, a request by some MLAs for a direction to the Chief Minister to prove his majority does not, taken alone, amount to a relevant and germane reason to call for a floor test. There must be some objective material in addition to a mere request to call for a floor test. In the present case, the governor did not have any objective material before him to indicate that the incumbent government had lost the confidence of the House and that he should call for a floor test. And the exercise of discretion by the governor in this case was not in accordance with law. Now on relief, relying on Bommai and Nabam Rabia, the petitioners argue that this court has the power to restore the status quo ante and rule that the government with Mr. Thakre as its chief minister is to be reinstated. However, this argument does not account for the fact that Mr. Thakre did not face the floor test on 30 June 2022 and submitted his resignation. This, cannot, this court cannot quash a resignation that has been submitted voluntarily. Had Mr. Thakre refrained from resigning from the post of the Chief Minister, this court could have considered the grant of the remedy of reinstating the government headed by him. The order of this court dated 29 June 2022 held that the outcome of the trust vote to be conducted on 30 June 2022 shall be subject to the final outcome of this batch of petitions. Since the trust vote was not held, the question of it being subject to the final outcome of these petitions does not, therefore, arise. Conclusions. In view of the discussion above, the following are our conclusions. A. The correctness of the decision in Nabam Rabia is referred to a larger bench of seven judges. B. This court cannot ordinarily adjudicate petitions for disqualification under the 10th schedule in the first instance. There are no extraordinary circumstances in the instant case that warrant the exercise of jurisdiction by this court to adjudicate the disqualification petitions. The speaker must decide the disqualification petitions within a reasonable period. C. An MLA has the right to participate in the proceedings of the House regardless of the pendency of any petitions for their disqualification. The validity of the proceedings of the House in the interregnum is not subject to the outcome of the disqualification petitions. D. The political party and not the legislature party appoints the whip and the leader of the party in the House. Further, the direction to vote in a particular matter or, sorry, further the direction to vote in a particular manner or to abstain from voting is issued by the political party and not the legislature party. The decision of the speaker as communicated by the Deputy Secretary to the Maharashtra Legislative Assembly dated 3 July 2022 is contrary to law. The speaker shall recognize the whip and the leader who are duly authorized by the Shiv Sena political party with reference to the provisions of the party constitution after conducting an inquiry in this regard and in keeping with the principles discussed in this judgment. E. The Speaker and the Election Commission of India are empowered to concurrently adjudicate on the petitions before them under the 10th schedule and under paragraph 15 of the Symbols Order respectively. F. While adjudicating petitions under paragraph 15 of the Symbols Order, 
the ECI may apply a test that is best suited to the facts and circumstances of the case before it. G, the effect of the deletion of paragraph three of the 10th schedule is that the defense of a split is no longer available to members facing disqualification proceedings. The speaker would prima facie determine who the political party is for the purpose of adjudicating disqualification petitions and a paragraph 2.1 of the 10th schedule, where two or more factions claim to be that political party. H, the governor was not justified in calling upon Mr. Thakre to prove his majority on the floor of the house because he did not have reasons based on objective material before him to reach the conclusion that Mr. Thakre had lost the confidence of the house. However, the status quo ante cannot be restored because Mr. Thakre did not face the floor test and tendered his resignation. And I, the governor, was therefore justified in inviting Mr. Shinde to form the government at the behest of the BJP, which was the largest political party in the House. This batch of writ petitions is disposed of in terms of the conclusions and directions recorded above. <laughs>